What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and I've got an awesome review video for you today. We're going to be going clear, but not like Tom Cruise. We're going to be going clear in the comic book way. We've got Comic Clear backing boards donated to the channel by Comic Clear. So we're going to do a little review of them, show you how they work, and look at a few awesome books along the way. You don't want to miss this, but first, check this out. Real quick, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Just hit 850 subscribers, trucking on toward 900, where we'll do our next big giveaway to celebrate the milestone on our way to 1,000 subscribers. So I'm very excited to get there. Let's do it. And if you haven't already, be sure to go check out Legion of Comics secondary Instagram page, LOC Pops Attic. If you're looking to fill any holes in your back issues or looking to start any new run collecting from back in the day, awesome stuff on there and all price to sell. All right, cool. So let's get right into it. Like I said, we have Comic Clear backing boards. If you haven't heard of these or this company, definitely check them out. I want to link all their stuff in the description of this video. And these are quite literally clear backer boards. Clear. Well, they're clear. So when you have all those books like wraparounds, double covers, I don't know, just like the ads on the back, it's the solution to that problem. All these exclusive variants that come out from all these different retailers that are virgin on the front and you don't have the information when you're flipping through them and all this, that, and the other, you're able to see it on the back. So we're going to look at some of those examples as well as I'm going to show you how these work because there is a little bit of work that goes into putting them uh, into the backing board, into the bag and get it all set up. But yeah. So let's, let's take a look at a few examples. I did just name a few off. So let's see what they look like in effect. And then I'll show you how to actually get them uh, taken apart because they do have protective film over them so that they come completely scratch free. And we'll go over all that in a second. So when you have books like Zecta Convention Preview, which is the first cover art done by artist John Jang, it was a double cover. So it was a convention preview. So a lot of times when you would search this book, you wouldn't be able to find it online because you would see this one listed. But if you had Comic Clear, you would know that there's two covers. And now you're not sacrificing any of the covers. You can put it in either way you want. But there it is. Then you have the whole wraparound situation. We have Shattered Grid from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is the one shot that concluded the Shattered Grid storyline. This was such an epic cover. This cover was exclusive. It had this amazing foil trade dress on it. This epic fight scene. And you missed half of it. Because you had that backing board, but now here's, here's, you can't even tell the backing boards on there. You can't even see it. They really are really, really clear. The quality of them are really tough. And I'll read some of the bagging and everything. And like I mentioned before, those uh, Virgin variants. This is the Clayton Crane Maestro or Maestro if you're Canadian. Issue number one. It was a Frankie's Comics exclusive. How do I remember that? Because comic here. As you can see, it says Frankie's Comics right there. Maestro, number one, Frankie's Comics. So that's really awesome. So you get all that information on the back that you normally would have covered up. And uh, I know that I was collecting, and I, I did collect all of the uh, Alex Ross Timeless variants. And it got a little bit confusing when I was cataloging them because all of them are virgins. And there was a lot of them all at one time. But also, you don't have to have any special reason. You don't have to have a wraparound, a double cover. A virgin exclusive sometimes you just enjoy looking at the ads on the back of the books like this ad it tells you right there it's amazing so this was from i don't know a few years back probably around 2005 2006 it was just a black panther number two the first appearance of surrey but that's a good one to have to see that goofy back of it i mean some of the ads on this stuff is really cool especially when you go back a little bit farther but yeah so it doesn't really matter what you put in there you do might want to get a little bit of picky and choosy. I don't have the prices listed in the description, but I'm sure you can hit that link, go to the website, check it out. But they do cost more than your standard cardboard backing boards. So I do have a book over here that I'm excited to get into one of these. I do have this. It came as a pack of 25. I already used four of them. This will be five. It'll leave me with 20. Not sure what I'll do with them. Uh, find a good place, good books for them. But let's actually take a look at it. So this right here on the front. It tells us that this is the current size. They do come in separate sizes. You have uh, the silver, and uh, I don't think they have magazine size. I think I did ask about that. I'm not sure. 
you'd have to hit the link to double check. But they do come in different sizes. And this says they're crystal clear backing boards. Archival uh, pet plastic, twice as rigid as standard backing boards. Protective film to ensure boards are scratch free. And that film you do have to remove. So beat Bond at his own game. And see, they show you the back of one on there as well. So let's actually look at these. So I slide one out. And right now it looks a little looks a little foggy looking at it through there. So uh, the, to get that protective film off, the easiest way that uh, I did just like kind of hit it with my fingertip. I'm like, wait a minute. I think I remembered someone saying, just get you a little piece of tape. Just get you a little piece of tape. That's all you need. And just tap that corner with it, and that film just comes right on off. Using the same piece of tape, hit that other corner, and that film just comes right on off. So now... Easy to dispose of. See, just disposed of it. It's gone. Get you a nice new three millimeter bag from Comicare because those two millimeter bags are for the birds. Me personally, I love the three mil bags. I don't, I don't know those two mil bags. You've seen brittle those self seal bags. I'm not a big fan of them, but see how clear it is now that I took those films off. It doesn't have that foggy, hazy look. I mean, look like you can see everything in the background back there, perfect. Look at that. I mean, other than the reflection from the computer, it really doesn't distort the image at all. Like these things legit are really clear. So we're going to slide it on right on down in there. Fits perfectly. Now I'm going to grab this book, which is one that I absolutely love and it's super relevant right now. And that is Masters of the Universe, issue number one, cover C from Image Comics. Gorgeous. Earl Norm, gold foil trade dress. And, uh, dude, I absolutely love Earl Norm art. I had the pleasure of meeting him back, I think it was like 2013. Got some stuff signed by him. But look, look at that. Just beautiful image. See that gloss matte? Like, look, look, look at that light hitting Skeletor. I don't know about you guys, but I am pumped. I'm excited. I cannot wait for the Netflix show. You know, I've, I've seen a few He-Man cartoons a time or two in my life growing up and uh be honest with you my biggest exposure was watching the Dolph Lundgren movie from the 90s over and over again growing up I mean I had toys but uh this is going to be my first time like really catching up to and keeping up with the show and it looks amazing Mark Hamill's voicing the Joker I cannot wait let me know in the comments what you think of that He-Man trailer it looks absolutely insane so here we go so boom bang so that is just dude these are these are so cool i mean look at that you get the whole image now got he man on battle cat man of arms got this look at this that trap jaw down there Hmm. So these things are fantastic, guys. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, I thought that they would be cool, but – and I know you hear this a lot. I, I've said it a bunch of times. Like, on camera, it doesn't know justice. In hand, it, it is literally clear. Like, it looks like nothing is there. But, dude, that is, that is just gorgeous. So give this a try. I, I highly recommend this product. I can't speak for how it'll hold up in the like long, long term, but it says it's archival PET plastic and it says pet in big letters. So I don't, I know that's not referring to my dog. That's referring to some kind of the plastic that it is, but it was cool. It came with this little, the difference is clear card in there as well. And uh, this little thing on the back it came with these things with it. I'm not sure what they're for, but they do have bulk and warehouse discounts available so if you're trying to bulk and warehouse they can discount you so yeah definitely try this stuff out guys it's super simple you saw it was just pop pow pow in there and uh you know when you have those comics that you just you want to take extra special care of they have any kind of sentimental or attachment to you these are just fantastic so cool so cool look at, look at, look at that. man 
Very excited. So I'm going to get these put back up, guys. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this product. Have you tried it out yet? Have you been thinking about trying it out? Let me know if you're excited for the new He-Man show. But until next time, guys, I appreciate you checking out the video. Be sure to check out At Weeks In every Sunday night at 9 p.m. And until next time, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.